Welcome to my Bilates Body Blitz Lower Body Stretch segment. You can add this onto any of my lower body workouts just to give you an extra bit of stretching at the end, lengthening out your muscles again. Okay, let's get started. Coming into an all fours position, bring your arms shoulder width apart and your knees also about shoulder width. Make sure you're nice and balanced and breathe in, arching your back up and back down. So a few cat cow poses to help circulate the blood around the body and just gently stretch out through that core and through your glutes, getting everything nice and lengthened and down. Two more like this and down and last one and down. Now coming into a downward dog, so separate your hands a little bit more and push up through your feet. If you can place your heels on the ground, fantastic. If not, then just bend your knees slightly and keep your heels up. Just stretch back as far as you can. Trying to push your shoulders or your armpits towards the mat. Your head is between your arms. And you're really thinking about stretching your hips up to the ceiling as high as you can. Staying here for a few breaths. Stretching everything out. Now come into a plank position and stretch back again and forward into a plank and each time you stretch back you should be able to get your heels a little bit lower, forward into plank, last time back. Now walk your feet in slightly and come into a downward dog split. So one leg up in the air, your hip is turned out towards the front of the room, looking down at the mat, point that toe and just really stretch up as high as you can through that leg. Stretching out your inner thighs, your hamstring on that supporting leg. Try to keep your shoulders facing the mat. Don't turn your upper body out. Now we're going to bring the knee to the chest and back into that split. Just adjust your stance so that you've got enough room to come forward and back up. Stretching up further every time you come back into that standing split position. Last time forward and up. Now bring your leg through into a runner's stretch. Adjust your stance so that your knee is in line with your ankle and really lengthen out through that back leg. Looking down at the mat, always making sure your neck is in nice alignment with your spine and stretching through that back extended leg. Feeling it in your hip flexor and your quads. Holding it there, holding your tummies in, relaxing your breathing. And now put your knee on the ground and your toe down and stretch back on that front leg. Nice hamstring stretch all the way through the back of your leg. Bringing your chest as close to your thigh as you can. If you're finding this too tough, then stay up higher, even like this is totally fine. But the lower you can go, the more you're stretching out that hamstring. I'd rather you keep your leg completely straight and stay up higher, then come down low and have your leg bent like this. Okay, so just really holding on to that. Now coming forward again, keeping your foot on the ground, coming up like this and stretching through that back hip flexor. As much as you can. And adjusting your stance, holding on to your back foot if you can, and pulling that heel in to feel the front of your quad, front of your back leg stretching. Push your foot into your hand. Now putting that foot back down, sweep this leg under you in a pigeon pose so your chest is lined up with your knee, your other leg is nice and straight behind you and you come down to your lowest point. You should feel that in the glute and outer hip here. Try to stay lined up over that leg, relaxing through your upper body, just coming as low as you can to feel that stretch. Breathing through it. 
feels great, doesn't it? We don't often stretch out our glutes, but they're our largest muscle group, so we definitely need to do it more, lengthening out those muscles again. Now, hands underneath your shoulders, push back into a plank position, and we're going to repeat all that on the other side. So come into that down dog and just press back. You should feel that you can bring your heels a lot closer to the mat and stretch back further now that you're a little bit more limber from stretching the other side. So once again, pushing your armpits to the mat. And we're going to come into that plank and push back. Just a few of these forward and hips up all the way forward and hips up and one more forward and back adjust your stance and bring your leg up so you're really thinking about downward dog split with your hip turning out so you're stretching through your inner thighs your hip flexors try to keep both hands and shoulders aligned looking down at the mat. Now come and bring your knee to your nose and split back up. Knee to your nose and back up. Really important to hold your tummy in. Knee to your nose and up. And we're gonna do one more of those. Knee in and up. Now bringing that leg through your hands adjusting your stance so that once again you're in nice alignment your knees not jutting out over your toe and hold that run and stretch feeling it in the front of your quad your hip flexors your hip flexors is what helps you lift your legs in all of those leg raises we do so they really need to be stretched out now bring your knee down and your foot flat and stretch back into that hamstring stretch. Chest to the thigh. Keeping that front leg straight. Pushing your heel into the mat. Holding that. Feeling all of those ligaments and muscles stretching. Now coming back forward with your knee on the ground and really pushing into it. Feeling this open here, come up. Hands on your knee, chest high, pushing forward. Now coming down again, adjust yourself, grab hold of your foot and bring it forward. Quadricep stretch front of the leg. If this is uncomfortable and you're finding that it's just not working for you, then don't worry about doing it this way. You can also do this stretch standing. It might be sore on your knee, so don't do it if it doesn't feel good. Leg back down, and we're going to swing that leg under us into that pigeon stretch. So once again, chest lined up with our knee and coming down to your low point. Breathing into it. Now coming back up and swim, swinging your leg through and just pushing up into a cobra stretch. Coming back down and up again all the way up squeezing your glutes stretching out through the front of your hips and your abs one more time down and up and then back into child's pose and roll it up there you have it lower body stretch i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to working out with you again soon